what is a soul specifically? And my reply, for a human being, their soul is the approximately 100 watt electromagnetic energy field generated within their living body on average while at rest. Other species of life form produce different amounts of electrical charge. For example, a single citrus fruit is capable of producing an electrical charge of 0 0.9 volts. The so-called gut bacteria, Listeria monocyto monocytogenes, a gram-positive bacteria native to a flavin-rich environment, generates some 100,000 electrons per second per cell. And even a modern cell phone battery holds a charge of, at most, 5 watts. The difference between a living person, a citrus fruit, a gut biome bacteria, and a cell phone is only in degree of freedom or capacity for self-awareness and, to a lesser extent, the ability to self-motivate. Because the human nervous system usually uses only about 10% of its total possible network bandwidth, that is, that 100 watts of electricity inside the living human body only takes up about 10% of the total number of neuron cells available. People can think independently, move their bodies, invent technologies, adapt and evolve, etc. In short, the soul of a human being can alter itself in ways its electrical circuitry does not allow for in a cell phone. For example, when you pull the plug or remove the battery from an electronic machine, it immediately loses all functionality as such. However, in the case of the soul leaving a dying person, the process usually takes longer and even after the spark has ceased pulsing one's cardiac fibrillation, the brain can hold enough oxygen to continue electrically powering its cells for at least 10 minutes prior to irreparable brain damage resulting, and even longer until its very last gasp of oxygen is exhausted. While the electrical charge in the living body is diminishing, the essence or soul of that person is experiencing either dissolution of itself into the primary clear light of tachyons in the zero-point energy field of hyperspace as the electricity that had been trapped into the patterns of the living being's body dissipates into the luminiferous ether, or else it is preserved as a pattern of electromagnetic potential independently of the body that had been generating and sustaining it as such. The lifelong patterns taken by the electrical charge of the soul, while it inhabits the living body, are unique to each different individual, but the template patterns of all people's souls is essentially the same, a Taurus. So we say a soul is the torus-shaped electromagnetic energy field surrounding and permeating a living being's body, and that the spirit is the universal shape of this template form. So a soul, as a unique pattern of electromagnetic energy, may survive bodily death if it is able to inhabit a spirit, a torus-shaped tachyon field.